Bart CBE Classic as a part of the College Hoops tip-off marathon. We're in our 24th hour of the marathon. And tonight, Dave Fleming, Sean Farnham, live here at the McCarthy Athletic Center in Spokane on the campus of Gonzaga University for a heck of a matchup. The Aztecs out of the Mountain West Conference from San Diego State University. The perennial power in the WCC, the Gonzaga Bulldogs here at home and Sean, two of the very best teams on the West Coast as we get ready to see a heck of an early season matchup. Yeah, two teams that went to the NCAA tournament a year ago, return a ton of experience, have a lot of similarities between them, mainly the front court strength. You're gonna see some big, long athletic bodies on both ends of the court tonight. And two of them will jump center here as the game gets started. The veteran on the Gonzaga side, Robert Sacre and Malcolm Thomas, senior leader of this Aztecs team. Thomas and San Diego State win the tip. And the point guard is DJ Gay as he gets the Aztecs into their offense. Case Tapley, sophomore wing player. Zaga in their traditional man-to-man -man defense. Kawhi Leonard, big sophomore star, has some range. A little too strong on his first shot of the game. And that's one of the shots that, you know, Mark Few and his staff, they, they want to keep Kawhi Leonard out of the paint. They'll take shots contested over the top of the hand. Dangerous pass, and Leonard comes away with a loose ball. San Diego State looking to push. Tapley from about 15, way too strong, but there's Billy White, and his putback is good. We're talking about one of the best rebounding teams in the entire country, and we talked about Thomas and Leonard last year. They averaged almost 18 rebounds per game together. They're the best returning rebounding duo in the NCAA. Sacre shot that one off the side of the backboard. The Aztecs with the first bucket. They get the ball back. Again, Leonard, who's such a talent. We're going to talk a lot about him tonight. Just a sophomore, but a big-time player for Steve Fisher's team. Looking to get the ball down low. That's the first touch for Malcolm Thomas. And he'll square up. Way too strong, but another offensive board. Again, it's White. Throws the ball away. Well, it's a turnover that ends up in an empty possession, but if I'm Coach Few, I'm, I'm a little frustrated right now. All week long, you've been talking about the need to rebound the basketball, play good defense and sure things up. Back-to-back -back possessions where Billy White has been left open and gotten offensive rebounds. And a little easier said than done sometimes against an Aztec team that is so athletic and big up front. Kelly Olnick into the corner, and a long attempt. Goodson misses, stripped away by the Aztecs. Leonard's got some handle to his game, and he's going to take it all the way. He'll shoot two. They call the blocking foul against Stephen Gray. It starts at the opposite end. Kelly Olnick not securing the ball when he had his chance at an offensive rebound and gets stripped. And Kawhi Leonard, so good in the open floor, able to draw that foul and get to the free throw line. And we're talking about a very special, unique player in college basketball. If this is your first chance to watch Kawhi Leonard play, he's one of the very best forwards in all of college basketball. And the battle we have tonight between him and Elias Harris are the two best forwards in the West region of the United States. Sit back and enjoy. Kawhi Leonard, just a sophomore from Riverside, California. Made the first, makes the second. The Aztecs out to a 4-0 lead. Typical Steve Fisher, after made free throws, they love to pick up full court and try to turn you over. Stephen Gray is off to a tremendous start. Maybe the key player for Gonzaga this year. First two games, he has shot lights out. Harris has the ball poked away. There are those quick hands for Leonard on defense. Elias Harris, another standout in this game. Also just a sophomore. A lot of accolades. A lot of people thought he might enter the NBA draft a year ago because of his freshman campaign. Made the decision to come back to Gonzaga, a smart one. And the Bulldogs have high aspirations of going deep in March because of the fact that he returned and solidifies the scoring down low. Splits that double team and an athletic move, but he had it go out of bounds. And they say off of Harris. Aztecs get the ball back. Elias Harris so dangerous as he spins to the middle, but the length of San Diego State, you know, Southern and, and IUPUI, the two teams in which Gonzaga have played so far this year, they don't have the length and athleticism that San Diego State does. So you're going to have to make some adjustments when you try to attack the hoop. Leonard, one bounce, but no room to shoot. Gonzaga's a big team themselves. White is a lefty on the low block. A lot of banging already. Nice touch. Billy White, he's got two early buckets. Goodson now under pressure. Sacre, good catch in the finish. He's a big, tough guy in the middle for Gonzaga. And 
a key player tonight. That's the first bucket of the game for the Bulldogs. Tap lead to a cutting Leonard who slips. Too strong. Zags off the out of bounds play, get the ball back. Way too easy that last time down. This is exactly what they want to do. They're going to post Robert Sacre right up in the middle of that key, allow him to catch the ball. And if you're San Diego State, you've got to make him make a move. Don't allow him to catch and just go straight to the rim. Big tough guy down low. Stephen Gray on the left wing. Goodson, they will give him some space to shoot and maybe a an early example of why pulled up way short on an open jumper. Really at times a liability at the offensive end of the floor. What they're going to do with him tonight is when he gets the catch and he starts to drive, yeah, they're going to close out to him. If not, they're going to help off, try to clog up the paint and get quick hands from DJ Gay to create steal. Leonard again gets a shot off but can't get it to go. Sacre defensive board. Gray down the left side, pulls up. And the shot goes, but it's a travel. So the basket does not count. Bulldogs turn over. Dave, coming into this game, I think one of the biggest question marks was how would San Diego State handle this environment? So far, they've been the team that's played with great composure and understanding that, yeah, it's going to be loud, but we can handle that. Gonzaga seemingly has played rushed, a little bit out of sorts offensively. They need to calm things down and settle down. A couple turnovers already for the Bulldogs. Senior point guard, now Malcolm Thomas at the elbow area. Leonard's going to go baseline, off glass. Nice move, we're seeing it all early from Kawhi Leonard. Bulldogs down 8-2 to two here, and a whistle away from the ball. They're going to call a hold, trying to play post-defense Thomas against Sacre. At least... You have a presence down there in Malcolm Thomas. And the big concern for Steve Fisher is if Malcolm Thomas gets a couple of early fouls, that will affect them not only at the defensive end, but mainly at the offensive end. He's one of the best passing big men in all of college basketball. Tough little shots from Gray. Came up short. Rebound loose. Leonard and Sacre scrambling for it. The jump ball gives it to Gonzaga. And so we've got our first break here in Spokane. Great start for the Aztecs. They lead 8-2. Quick start for the Aztecs of San Diego State on top here on the road against the Gonzaga Bulldogs, 8-2, just over four minutes in. And, Sean, impressive how the Aztecs in a hostile environment are playing cool and calm so far. That's what you expect out of a team that returns all five starters from a year ago that won the Mountain West Conference, went to the NCAA tournament, had a sensational season this year. The hopes and the expectations have increased mightily. Uh, but I, I really like what they've done defensively so far up until then. How about the quick catch and shoot? Three-point bucket. Stephen Gray, so important for Gonzaga. And immediately out of the timeout, the first three-pointer for the Bulldogs. Leonard has been the focal point on offense so far. Thomas against Harris. The baby hook too short. But another offensive rebound. This time it's Shelton who's just into the game for the Aztecs. Tim Shelton, junior forward from Fresno. James Rahan also in for the first time. Shelton, out of control dribbling. Still plenty of time, 20 seconds on the shot clock. Leonard from long range. Inside the three-point line, but impressive. There's a concern I have with Kelly Olnick guarding Kawhi Leonard because his lateral foot speed is not quick enough to maintain. Quick seal off by Sacre. An easy bucket down low. So he's got two early baskets. The Zags are starting to get into a flow on offense. Quick shot for Gay, and he knocks down the long two. The Zags are in the flow, but so are the Aztecs. He's got to get to the defensive end of the floor for the Bulldogs right now. They're not getting stops. They're not implementing the plan that they had all week long in practice of pressuring the ball. Gray again will shoot a tough three. No good. There's Leonard with a big defensive rebound above the rim. He can really dominate a game on the glass. In fact, against Long Beach State on Saturday, zero rebounds in the first half, 12 in the second half for Kawhi Leonard. You can tell he is feeling it early. Another 17-footer, too short. Sacre with a board. Now Goodson in transition to the trailer, Sacre. Harris along the baseline, but a three-second call. Olnick was in the lane too long. A mental mistake by Kelly Olnick. You have to have an awareness of where you're at on the floor 
and it ends up being an empty possession and giving San Diego State that much more confidence at both ends right now as more substitutions come in. And one of the guys I expect that could make a difference in this game because of his size is Brian Carwell. And this is a guy that has huge size, 6'11", 300 pounds. Ball loose on the ground, and Gray comes away with it. The Zags should have numbers. Gray in transition to Harris. Thought about the three and passed it up. He'll attack the rim and get fouled. Well, Elias Harris will shoot two free throws. The foul is going to be charged to Tim Shelton. Originally a nice job defensively getting back and forcing Gonzaga to play out of it. Then Elias Harris puts it on the ground. Help side defense has got to rotate a lot quicker, plug that gap and be big and tall and make him shoot over the top. Harris, what a talent. Misses the first free throw. It's been a relatively slow start for a Gonzaga offense that is high powered, prolific. Well, averaging 101 points per game in the first two contests. Making it look pretty easy doing it. He makes a second. Four point San Diego State lead and some trapping pressure full court from the Bulldogs. Aztecs break that fairly easily. James Rahan, outstanding outside shooter, gives it up to Gay. He gets fouled to help defense from Harris. He banged into it. They want to hard hedge everything out on the perimeter. But if you're Elias Harris, you've got to make sure when you hedge, you show so far over the top. See, he's a little late. And because he was a little late on the hedge, it allowed DJ Gay to get to him and draw the contact. So new shot clock. Aztecs maintain possession. And Gay will call a play with a screen from Shelton. Rayhan had a little space. Instead tries to penetrate. Wildly out of control with the ball. Knocked to Carwell, and he lays it in with a foul. There's the guy Sean's talking about. Big senior center, a transfer from Illinois. 6'11", 300 pound, Brian Carlwell. Had a very limited role because of the athleticism on Saturday at Long Beach State, but you just see him. He's got good soft hands. He can power on up through the contact, draw the foul, and his wide body can really eat up minutes and wear down Gonzaga's interior presence. Olnick's coming out after a very brief rest. Sacre will come back into the game. You got Leonard and Thomas both on the bench for San Diego State. As Carwell tries to complete a three point play. And he does. A little pressure from the Aztecs. Sacre away from the basket, working against the big guy. He finds Carter, the open shooter, too strong. He's Carter in the game for Gonzaga. Missed that three-pointer. He's matched up here one-on-one -on -one with D.J. Gay, Aztec's point guard. tapley has got some range. Patient offensive possession for the Aztecs. Billy White into the key. Too short. Harris with the rebound and good defense. Yeah, it wasn't on balance on that shot. It's fading away. Carter out of control gets bailed out with a foul call. We're going to call the blocking foul there on Gay. But Marquise Carter, I don't think he had anywhere to go. Well, Marquise Carter, talented junior college transfer into Gonzaga, dropped 35 in the NC, uh, the junior college national championship game. And one of the reasons why he's not in the starting lineup, how he hasn't assumed that role, is because sometimes he gets himself out of out of control a little bit, and that time he got bailed out. And able to draw the foul on DJ Gay. So it's a seven-point lead for the Aztecs. Gonzaga ball here. Stephen Gray finding a lot of room so far on the offensive end. Creates some, though, with a nice move. If you need offense right now for the Bulldogs, it's got to come through Stephen Gray. He's been the best weapon in the early portion of the season, and with your team stagnant at the offensive end, you look for a senior to pick up the pace and take care of business. And Ray, Stephen Gray's doing it. Rayhan, quick shot from the right elbow area. Perfect. James Rayhan, talented transfer from the West Coast Conference, came from Santa Clara. Now is Steve Fisher's club. A huge deficiency a year ago for the Aztecs was their ability to shoot the criminal shot. Rayhan really shore things up for him. 
Sacre, the offensive board, kicks it out to Carter. Floater, short. The Aztecs will bring it the other way. Gay pushing some tempo to Tapley, who traveled. Biggest lead so far, still the early going. San Diego State, seven-point advantage here at Gonzaga. 11.26 to go in the first half. And the Bulldogs start to get things going a little bit on the offensive end, but San Diego State has been the aggressor so far tonight, Sean. And it shows up in the offensive rebounding category where San Diego State has had numerous second-chance opportunities, and it's primarily been a one-and-done situation for the Bulldogs at their offensive end of the floor. Sam Dower in, and he's the inbounder for Gonzaga. Redshirt freshman. It looks like he's going to be another good player for Mark Few. In his first chance to play early here in 2010. Looking back door, Sacre, and Goodson was not looking for the ball. So the turnover on the Bulldogs. Yeah, you got to have vision not only with the person making the pass, but the person receiving the pass. You can't just anticipate the cut and the read. Kawhi Leonard is back in after a nice rest. And immediately throws a poor pass, but he gets the ball back. Manny Arap taking his turn to try to follow Leonard around, who goes back door and beats Arap. And who created that? Malcolm Thomas. It's yep. a yes, read the cut. Yes, see Kawhi Leonard, but the great touch pass, the high-low from Malcolm Thomas. One of the best passing big men in the country. Gray draws the contact and the foul call against Leonard. So Stephen Gray, five early points for Gonzaga. He'll shoot two. A nine-point lead for San Diego State, and we're nearly halfway through the first half here in this building and on a floor where Gonzaga has only lost four games since they opened it. And this is a very impressive start for San Diego State. Should give them confidence as it goes on. But if you're Gonzaga, you've got to start looking around and saying, guys, offensively, let's have some patience. We're playing without any poise right now. So Gray at the line. His first free throw gets the shooter's touch. The Zags have 11 points here. With 10.47 to go first half, they're averaging in two games better than 100. Gray made one of two, missed that second. Malcolm Thomas with the rebound. Leonard into the corner, and Tapley air ball, much too strong. Gray pushes. Stephen Gray pull up. Got it. Well, if you're looking for offense, keep going his way. Because he's the only one right now for Gonzaga that is playing in any rhythm and any flow offensively. If I'm Coach Few, you let Stephen Gray go. He's got eight of their 13. And it's a six-point Aztecs lead. Leonard sort of running the, the point at the moment. Rahan to Billy White. One dribble. Nice touch on the left baseline. A lot of their offense is gimmick to get the defense shifting away from where they want to get the ball, and that time perfect execution by Billy White. He is not counted on to be one of their big scorers. He's got six already. Gray draws more contact, no foul call this time, but Gonzaga will keep the ball. Out of bounds off the Bulldogs. We had our first look into the game. Manis Merninghoff, who's a freshman, a true freshman from Germany, another one of the international players on this Gonzaga team, and he has made quite an impression in the early going. A great start against Southern University on Friday, 4-4 four for four from behind the arc. Sacre, good catch. Fresh shot clock for Gonzaga. Down low, Sacre, he scores! Just as we saw a great high-low for San Diego State that time. Stephen Gray, Kawhi Leonard on him, reads the defense after the screen. Sacre goes underneath and posts up beautifully. Well, thank you, Beth. Welcome here to Spokane, Washington, where the San Diego State Aztecs off to a quick start against the Gonzaga Bulldogs at the McCarthy Athletic Center. But the Bulldogs start to get into a flow here. 21-15 to score. Dave Fleming, Sean Farnham, glad to have you with us. Part of our tip-off marathon. Getting toward the end of the marathon. And we've got quite a matchup here. Two of the very best teams on the West Coast. 24th hour of college basketball. One of the best matchups of the full day. Zaga at home hosting from the Mountain West Conference. The 
the Aztecs of San Diego State. Stephen Gray has been big for Gonzaga early. So has Robert Sacre. Too strong with his little hook shot. Gets his own miss and gets fouled. So Sacre doing some good work against the big boys of San Diego State down low. And the big men are a big part of this matchup, Sean, as we take a look at our progressive insurance star watch. The two best forwards on the West Coast, Kawhi Leonard and Elias Harris. Kawhi Leonard in just 35 games has 18 double-doubles. Elias Harris, well, he, he did a little bit of everything last year for Gonzaga. First to own to the scene, and this year getting into some preseason All-American looks. And right now this game has really shaped up where the aggressive nature of San Diego State has dominated so far. But big concern right now with Malcolm Thomas sitting on the bench with two personal fouls. That was one of the big concerns for Steve Fisher. Didn't want to get Malcolm Thomas into foul trouble. Uh, he's in some foul trouble. Sacre converts the free throws. That's as close as it's been for several minutes. Four-point Aztecs lead. D.J. Gay, the senior point guard for San Diego State. End of the game after a breather for him. A little 7-2 run for Gonzaga. The changeup of their defense. Trying to give a little bit of a different look of zone. Primarily, they've been in man-to-man -man so far for Gonzaga. Here is Kawhi Leonard. Finds Tapley. Touch pass to White, who gets knocked to the ground and fouled. Our Sonic on the floor right now. Many of the starters, but not all of them. DJ Gay, who's the senior point guard. Ray Hahn, an outstanding outside shooter for the Aztecs. Meanwhile, on the Gonzaga side, Stephen Gray has been outstanding. Elias Harris, Robert Sacre down low. White up and under, no good, but Leonard there for the offensive board and the putback. And that tells the story so far in this game. Offensive rebounds, second chance opportunities, and Kawhi Leonard just a special, unique talent for Steve Fisher and for college basketball across the country. Harris gets tied up. Welcome back to ESPN, the home court of college hoops, one of the great home court advantages in all of college basketball. Right here in Spokane at the McCarthy Athletic Center. They call them the Kennel Club, the student section here at Gonzaga. Dave Fleming, Sean Farnham with you. Great matchup tonight, San Diego State and the Bulldogs of Gonzaga. And Sean, do you buy my argument that these are the two perhaps best teams in West Coast basketball? Well, I think the University of Washington would want to get in that discussion as well, but there's a clear argument to be made that these are the two best teams in the West region of the United States. When you look at San Diego State, their resume from a year ago, they return all five starters, an NCAA tournament team that won the Mountain West Conference tournament, and then, of course, Gonzaga. It's been a decade of dominance for Mark Few and the Bulldogs, and there's no signs that they're slowing down when you've got two Wooden Award preseason candidates in the top 50 on your roster, only one of five schools that has that accolade that they can set. I think both coaches feeling like it's awfully early in the season for a matchup of this caliber. Mark Few, Steve Fisher, both concerned about the opposition tonight. And the game so far, I think, has lived up to it after a slow start for Gonzaga. Out of the timeout, Elias Harris knocks down the front end of a one-and-one -one free throw situation. Aztecs already with seven team fouls. And his number's down a little bit at the beginning of this season. He had a separated shoulder and returned back to practice just a little bit over a week ago. And his minutes were pretty limited on Sunday against IUPUI, only 18 minutes. And it wasn't due to the injury. They just wanted to kind of rest him up and make sure he didn't get banged up because there's a very difficult road ahead for Gonzaga. And Harris has been quiet tonight. Gonzaga showing his own look here for the first time in this game. Kawhi Leonard on the perimeter. Rahan way deep in the corner. Carlwell, low block, working against Sacre. Tough shot, and he scores it with a foul. I didn't know he had that in him. He's a big fella. He wants to come back to that left hand, and Robert Sacre just put both arms up. Didn't really challenge it as much as he could have. And Carlwell has proved to be a difference maker in the early stages of this game at the offensive end of the floor. Not noted for his offensive strengths, but... His size, as we mentioned, can give a lot of problems to many teams. 300 pounds, 6'11". Nice job pinning and sealing down low on the block. Steve Fisher told us he could be a key man tonight. He's got five points and make it six. Often 
not a part of the offense. He's going to take a breather here. Tim Shelton will come back in the game for the Aztecs. Well, and against the zone, the key to anything San Diego State runs offensively is they have to get the ball down on the block. They love to play out of getting the ball down low, passing out on the perimeter for their perimeter shots, if that's what they're looking for. They have better outside shooting this year, but they're still an inside power-dominated kind of team. Shelton comes out to help on defense, and that's not a very smart foul because Stephen Gray will get a chance at the free throw line. Gray, for long stretches in the first half tonight, has been the Gonzaga offense. He gets the one-and-one -one free throws. Off to a quick start this season, and not just the total numbers, but shooting the ball so well. Front end of the one-and-one -one is good. His perimeter range, I think, was is, is the one thing that stands out. His, his consistency, 58% so far in the first two games. And this is a guy who a year ago just shot 33%. But Mark Few was quick to tell us. And we go back to Stephen Gray's freshman year against Davidson with Steph Curry. He hit seven three-quarters in that contest. And if it wasn't for Steph hitting his eight, the storyline clearly could have been Stephen Gray. Nice cut by Shelton, who lays it in. San Diego State running some good offensive sets in the early going. Kevin, while we were gone, timeout. Mark Few was not happy after an offensive rebound put back from Kawhi Leonard. Now Gray, high degree difficulty three-pointer. Stephen Gray is keeping Gonzaga in this game. Without Stephen Gray, this isn't even a contest right now. 13 of the 23 points from Stephen, and that was a really difficult shot. He had the quick release over the top of Kawhi Leonard. Rayhan, excellent shooter. That's Billy White. He's got a big size advantage there. Up to Rayhan, who did not shoot it, and steps into a shorter two and makes it. He has improved and used his uh, red shirt year a year ago to improve different aspects of his game, and that's how we saw Rayhan put the ball down on the floor. Uh, he used to be just a pure spot-up shooter. Got a little nuance to his game now. Aztecs up by nine. Gray's got 13 of the 23. Make it 15 of 25. Stephen Gray having a ball game. His aggressiveness is getting him to the rack, but you've also got to credit his teammates. They're setting some very good picks, making it difficult for Kawhi Leonard to stick with Stephen Gray. Nice shot fake. Goes right by Harris. And... The foul shot coming up with the basket. That was a great call and a great move by Billy White. The pump fake gets Elias Harris up, and Kelly Olnick just too slow in his help side rotations. He's really got to do a much better job of sliding over and getting outside of the paint. You've got to meet him outside the block because if he meets you inside the paint every single time, that's going to be a block. And I'd like to see it again at some point, but he might well have been just right underneath the basket, and the officials. Even if the defensive player has a position there, they don't actually delineate the little arc underneath the basket in college basketball. But that's not territory that a defensive player is entitled to. White misses the chance for the three-point play. So the Aztecs still up by nine. Good to the point guard to Harris, who has been quiet on the offensive end. Dower looking to the cutter. Dixon's squad loaded once again. Four returning starters from a year ago. Ashton Gibbs, of course, for Texas. You know, big disappointment down the stretch a year ago. 
for the Texas Longhorns, but this year with Jordan Hamilton and Tristan Thompson playing really well in the early stages. And high hopes once again down in Austin, Texas. Both free throws good from Goodson, and the free throws have been a big part of the story for Gonzaga, helping them hang in with San Diego State. Goodson's first couple of points of the game. White against Harris, backing him in with the left hand. Too strong. Here comes Gonzaga. Goodson pushing. Goodson off glass. Good! Aztecs up by five. Shelton passed up the three through traffic. Gets it knocked away, but there's White and another stick back for Billy White. Boy, he has been efficient. Ten points already in this contest for Billy White, and many of them coming on second chance opportunities. Offense 36, Gonzaga at home 29, and Sean, one guy on the offensive end keeping Gonzaga in this game. Yeah, Stephen Gray, no surprise if you've seen the first two games of the season for the Bulldogs. Stephen Gray can do a little bit of everything. This is the reason why he's on the preseason wooden award list. Almost had a triple-double last time out. Already five of eight shooting in this contest. It's just doing an outstanding job creating offense because it has not been easy against San Diego State and the great defense in which they've been playing. Yeah, well, you saw some of it there, right? Gray, even the shots he's making, not easy shots. He's having to earn them. Some pressure for the Bulldogs and a long three. Gay, too strong. But the long rebound, Rahas. Good pass to White, who scores again down low. So unselfish by Rahan right there. Could have stopped and popped in the middle of the paint. Instead, drops it down to Billy White, who's been very active underneath. The sag off Goodson. They're going to give him that shot, San Diego State. Dower away from the basket. Goodson pulls up from near the free throw line. Couldn't get the shooter's roll. White, San another rebound. San Diego State rebounds the basketball, Dave, as if they're starving, and the basketball is full of food. I mean, they go after it as good as any team in college basketball. Not bad as we get close to Thanksgiving. Well, Feast Week is coming up right around the corner. Oh, well, San Diego State, the perfect team to be a part of that. Travel on White, who I think is a little winded, and he may need a breather here. White is working real hard, the senior from Las Vegas. Gave the ball up that time. Just the fourth turnover for the Aztecs, though, nearing halftime. That's a pretty good number. Playing on the road. Gray, they leave him open. You can't do that, but he misses the shot. Rebound Aztecs. There's little things like that. Rahan now two rebounds in the last three possessions. One created an offensive opportunity. That one saves the defensive opportunity. Gonzaga's defensive intensity has picked up. Well, and, and one of the ways you can tell is how far out San Diego State is having to initiate their offense. Under 10 to shoot, and Tapley turns it over. Three on two. Morninghoff, finger roll with the foul. The freshman with an impressive move in transition. And a chance for the three-point play. Morninghoff has done it from the perimeter in the first two games. This time, great defensive pressure. The double team in the hedge by Sam Dower. Great opportunity. Tim Shelton gets too deep inside the paint. Sets up shop too late. And Morninghoff able to get up into the rim with a nice finish off the glass. Well, Mark Few told us, Sean, that this guy is not just a spot-up shooter. He's an all-around player. He needs to get stronger. But you could be looking at the next in line, the, the yes. star offensive players I, I in the great tradition of Gonzaga basketball. I, I would agree with you, Dave. I really think that this kid has the potential by the end of the year to maybe break this starting lineup and be a go-to guy come tournament time to kind of help stretch defenses because he can shoot the perimeter shot if he starts to put the other aspects of his game together. Third foul on Shelton, so he goes to the bench. Carlwell back in, finds Rahan open, got it from three. Now that's a guy who you cannot leave open. A great three-point shooter. Now Goodson, they give him the continuation. Dimitri Goodson, little NBA move. So offense was an issue for Gonzaga, but all of a sudden they found themselves in a much better rhythm. And Dimitri Goodson may not have range on his shot, but 
is very dangerous in the open floor. He can get from end to end as quick as any guard in the country, and that time able to draw the contact, hang long enough with a soft touch off the glass. Free throw is short. Leonard able to pull it down. Kawhi Leonard spent a lot of time on the bench in the latter part of this second half. Having quite a half himself, though. Defense from Goodson and the Bulldogs. Oh, beautiful move by DJ Gay. Carlwell from three. Too strong. Chariette, though, the offensive rebound just in the game, and then he gives it up. Merninghoff to Goodson, and he's stripped. Gets it back. Merninghoff trying to settle it down a little bit. Down low, poked away. Slappy from Gonzaga. Transition, Gay elected not to shoot the three. Leonard will shoot the three. Too strong. A frenetic pace right now. Gonzaga needs to settle it down, establish their offense, get themselves into their system, and try to really work and get a quality shot here before the half ends. As we move into the 25th hour of our College Hoops tip-off marathon, Goodson, be careful, a little sneak attack from DJ Gay. Demetri Goodson's got to pay attention. He turned his whole entire back to the court. Seven to shoot. Gray finds Goodson. The three-pointer. Good! <laughs> and a timeout for Steve Fisher as Gonzaga is as close as they've been in a while. Goodson all of a sudden, he's come to life on offense. Gonzaga's been in a while here. The Aztecs, though, with the timeout, they'll have the ball. Mark Few has watched his team step up the intensity, I think, Sean, on both sides of the floor. Well, they have, and that's what has helped ignite their offense is their effort at the defensive end of the floor. It's gotten them out in transition. It's gotten Stephen Gray confidence, and now Demetri Goodson is playing with some confidence. I think right now, you're looking at a situation with 12.1 seconds. They're going to look for Rayhan in the corner or DJ Gay coming off the screen to get something going towards the hoop. 12 seconds, Aztecs will try to make it the final shot of the half, leading by four. Gay going to the basket, reverse wraparound kind of move, and he draws the foul. So he'll shoot two free throws with 4.8 seconds to go. If that wasn't available, Rayhan was in the corner for them to look at, but DJ Gay is so good at splitting the double team. If you're going to come and try to hedge and trap DJ Gay, it's got to be hard and it's got to be quick. And right now, just a little bit too slow, and that created that gap for DJ. It does leave some time on the clock. Well, what just, happens here? If you're Steve Fisher, I mean, you, you, this is a good result with 12.1 seconds to draw a foul, get to the free throw line, kind of slow everything down a little bit. And if on the make, remember, the Aztecs will press. Free throw good. Shelton comes out. He's got three fouls. Was in just for the offensive possession. Carlwell back in. A little confusion about how to line up for the second free throw for the senior point guard, DJ Gay. And that's because they want Carlwell back on the defense as the last line of protection for the hoop. Short. Rebound, Gonzaga. Can they get a shot off? Goodson from half court. Off the rim. Pretty good look. It doesn't go, and we will go to halftime here in Spokane. A little back and forth, quick start for the Aztecs, then came the Bulldogs, and at the half, the score, San Diego State 42, the 12th ranked Gonzaga Bulldogs 37, fifth hour of this incredible college hoops tip-off marathon, and they don't look too tired here in Spokane. The students are into it, San Diego State and Gonzaga, and the Aztecs on the road with the five-point lead at halftime are Reese's first half stats. The bench points stand out. San Diego State, a big advantage in terms of their depth tonight. Yeah, bench point, points in the paint, second chance opportunities. And really the one number that impresses me is that San Diego State didn't come in and just jack up a bunch of perimeter shots. Only six three-point attempts for the Aztec in the first half. And I think part of that, Sean, Dave Fleming, Sean Farnham with you here in Spokane, Part of that is San Diego State in a hostile environment can be a real tough place to play. They came in with an aggressive mindset. They were ready to go at the start. Yeah, they answered the bell right from the call, and they took the punch, and they threw the first punch at Gonzaga. And an excellent job getting it down low. In fact, talking 
with the San Diego State coaching staff at the break. They said, look, we got to continue to rebound. We want to push the ball inside, inside out offense here in the second half. And they said, now we know we can offensive rebound against this team. We've got to continue to do that. For Gonzaga talking to their coaching staff, Ray Giacoletti told me, said, we got to force their bigs to catch the ball further away from the paint. And offensively, we got to get back to team basketball. Too much one-on-one -on -one and too many guys trying to do it all on themselves. Well, Mark Few, you know, he knows he's got a fight on his hands. That score is reversed. San Diego State is the team with the advantage here on the road in Spokane as the second half gets underway. Aztecs have the ball first and trying to go inside out. White saves the ball inbounds. No, Billy White stepped on the sideline. And a quick turnover for the Aztecs. A good job defensively doing exactly what Gonzaga wants them to do, forcing Billy White to catch the ball further away from the hoop. We gave you our progressive insurance star watch at the start of the game, and it's been lopsided in terms of Kawhi Leonard against Elias Harris. Leonard's having a heck of a game, and Harris for the Bulldogs a very quiet first half. Yeah, he has to assert himself here in the second half at both ends of the floor, really a non-factor in the first 20 minutes. Tough pass, I guess it was tipped, it was, by the Aztecs out of bounds. So, Gonzaga keeps the ball with 13 to shoot and they'll inbound from underneath the basket. Goodson, the point guard, is the trigger man here. To Stephen Gray, leading scorer for the Bulldogs. And Thomas, with some help, leaves Sacre open. Jumper good. Well, if they're going to hedge out, Robert Sacco has got to make him pay, and that time he was able to do it. A great hedge by Malcolm Thomas, but it ended up leaving open and wide open. The defensive help set's got to be much quicker in that rotation. sacre has got 10. Been a while since the Bulldogs have been within three. That's where they stand right now. Malcolm Thomas spent most of the first half on the bench with foul trouble. He's a big part of this Aztecs offense. One on one with Sacre, he double dribbled. Two possessions in the second half, two San Diego State turnovers. And they're really struggling again to get that easy entry pass that we saw so much of in the first half. They're really doing an excellent job pushing them off the block. Bulldogs can cut into the lead even further. Sacre down low to Olnick. Lost the handle, gets it back and scores. And it's a one point game. Kennel Club is into it. Gonzaga started the second half on a run. DJ Gay cut off. Leonard shoots the three. Too strong. Rebound. Sacre. Thomas called for the foul. And if I'm Steve Fisher, I know it's in the early stages here in the second half, but his team has come out of the break a little rattled at the offensive end of the floor, defensively giving up way too many easy looks. One more possession like we've seen so far from the Aztecs. I'm going to call a timeout and try to settle my team down. Aztecs showing some pressure here. But it's been the Bulldogs, the aggressive team, at the start of the second half. They can take the lead for the first time in this game. They have not led tonight at any point. Goodson down low. Harris to the basket. Scores from the foul. He said he's been a non-factor in the first 20 minutes. A nice job asserting himself right then. Down low on the block. He called for it, sealed off Kawhi Leonard, and a very strong finish at the rim. That was all created. A great entry pass, but it was created by the pin and seal of Elias Harris, who's showing some emotion. And you go back to the later stages of the first half. Bulldogs on an 11-1 run. Tapley comes out. James Rahan, the three-point shooter, is in for San Diego State. Malcolm Thomas, his fourth personal foul there. That is huge. Harris makes the free throw. It's the first lead of the night for the 12th ranked Bulldogs. And it's a timeout for Steve Fisher in San Diego State. We'll take a break ourselves. Zags on a run in Spokane. It has been all Gonzaga in the second half here in Spokane, and their first lead of the ball game, 44-42. Gonzaga leading San Diego State. The offense is picked up for the Bulldogs. Sean, let's take a look at our Reese's perfect play. Freeze it right here, fellas. Right now, 
this has got to be the guy that covers out to Robert Zachary. Instead, you're going to see him go in the opposite direction. This is a typical help the helper on the hard hedge. You're in the help side position. Nearest guy to the ball, take it away. The breakdown allowed for the wide open jump shot. And Gonzaga's got a little bit of a rhythm and flow that they didn't have in the first half offensively. So after the timeout, Aztecs, who haven't scored a field goal in four minutes, haven't scored a point in the second half with the ball. One of their best players, Malcolm Thomas, is on the bench. He's got four fouls. He has no points. Been a nightmare game for Malcolm Thomas. Carlwell, one of the guys who's going to have to pick up the slap, finds Gay for the three-pointer. So D.J. Gay knocks it down, and that puts San Diego State back on top. Goodson has it poked away. Bounce goes to Gray. His three, no good. Sacre, second chance, foul. Sacre going to the line. Kind of devoted college athlete. Sacre knocks down one free throw, so the game is tied. I think I was doing school papers. I spent right. a lot of time. Brought, brought time. your midterm yes. work, of course, on the road. With it. I heard that. Kawhi Leonard with the handle. Nice bounce pass. Farwell blocked from behind. Leonard offensive rebound, falling down. Can't get it to go. And Kawhi should have dribbled that one or found somebody to pass it to off balance. Not a good look for him. Olnick from distance off rim. And a loose ball grabbed by Rahan. Wild action in the second half. White steps back for a three. Good! The big man can shoot. Billy White has done a little bit of everything. And the Aztecs really needed somebody to step up and hit a shot. That was a big one. It's almost like with no Malcolm Thomas virtually, White's filled the void. Off of Olnick, Aztecs get the ball back. And they have maintained, regained a lead of three points. You Malcolm Thomas, not very happy sitting on the bench. And, and it is a key cog. You keep talking about it, Dave. One of the best passing big men in all of college basketball. And when your offense is predicated upon getting the ball down low on the block and playing out of it, that's a big loss. They haven't flowed as well without him on the court. Rahan, kind of a wild shot, reaches in and a foul. He thought he had the jump ball situation. Instead, he gets called for the personal. Well, fouls have been a big part of the story here. Aztecs already four team fouls, none for the Bulldogs. And it was a little bit lopsided in the first half. Especially at the free throw line. And that's that's part of the aggressiveness of what Gonzaga's trying to do. And part of it also is San Diego State getting lackadaisical at the defensive end of the floor and not paying as, a, as much attention as they should to a lot of these cuts. Gray, double pump three-pointer. That doesn't usually work. Olnick offensive rebound taken right away. White stole it right from him. He continues to bring the ball down even on offensive rebounds. Donnie Daniels was talking to him, one of the assistant coaches of Gonzaga yesterday at practice saying, you've got to protect the ball. They're coming after it. Kawhi Leonard. Harris sags off just a little bit. Leonard, nowhere to go. Good defense by Harris. Now White, the lefty, backing it in. Dumps it down low, but Carlwell was not ready for the ball. Turnover, Aztecs. All around student athletes here at Gonzaga. And well rounded student athletes here at Gonzaga and Stephen Gray involved in so many things as well. Spent some of his summer in Africa helping out and you know, those are the type of things that will help build you for the next 50 years. But so far in this season, just a week in, he's been the bright spot offensively, defensively for Gonzaga and has really led them so far. The big man on campus in just about every way possible. Stephen Gray with the ball, with the shot, and off the glass. Gets it to go. You know, he is an actor. He does know how to read his cue. and. He, I, I'm sure he heard us talking about his performance and his performance tonight, stellar, 17 points for him so far. I think he tried to sell a foul call there as well. Didn't get it. One point lead for the Aztecs. Leonard, who's in some ways running the point guard position for a lot of possessions these last few minutes with the ball. And this is a matchup that he could really exploit with Sam Dower on him. Another three for Carlwell. 
Wright gets his hand on another rebound and gets fouled by Olenek. Stephen Gray, though, at the opposite end of the floor, he has been instant offense all night long. He gets a great screen, and as soon as he turns that corner, Kawhi Leonard really has to show a lot better there. Forces out Carwell to come away from the basket, and too much, too much room there for Stephen Gray. And it's going to be a challenge, even with some help, for Rayhan to stay with him. This is what Rayhan does, though. Knocks down another three. That's a big shot. The three-point ball, not a real big factor in the first half. Just one of six for San Diego State. But already they have three three-pointers here in the second half. Rayhan's got ten points. He's only taken five shots. Been very efficient. Ray, nowhere to go with the ball. Harris comes out to get it. Cut off. Throws it off of Leonard. Gonzaga keeps the ball. A great individual matchup between two of the best forwards in all of college basketball with Leonard and Harris going after one another. Leonard's had a quiet second half so far after a big first half. Sacre hands off to Gray. Merninghoff, three! The freshman knocks it down. We talked about him in the first half. The potential is there for him to be special here in Spokane, and already in the early stages of the season, he's been their bench spark. Harris out fighting Leonard for the ball, scramble right in front of us, and I think they're calling a foul against Gonzaga. They're gonna call Dower with a personal foul. That's, that, sometimes those are tough calls to make. There's a scramble. Everybody's fighting for the ball. What happened here is Harris playing great defense. You said Kawhi Leonard's had a quiet half. That's because Harris is now guarded defensively, but you can clearly see yep. Sam Dower jumped on the back of Kawhi Leonard. There was no attempt really to go after that ball. You like the hustle if you're Mark Few, uh, but a great call by this officiating group. Yeah, if you're going for the ball, I think you can get away with something like that, but that was a dog pile. Yeah. And that's a personal foul. It's the second team foul against the Bulldogs in the second half. I want to get back to Kawhi Leonard, though, in this quiet second half he's having. Olenek guarded him for much of the first. And as we mentioned, his lateral quickness not as good as Harris. Harris has better lateral quickness. And because of that, Kawhi Leonard has been kept at bay. Right in the high post area. Leonard off the screen. Great pass! And the finish with two hands plus the foul. Leonard with the assist. Carlwell with the bucket. Perfect execution by San Diego State. You're going to see Carlwell set the screen and then shape up. And as Sacre has to step up, Carlwell able to finish. And what a game he's had. He played three minutes the other night at, San Diego, at Long Beach State on Saturday. And now making a difference for San Diego State here on the road in this hostile environment. He misses the free throw there. But he's got eight points. A whistle away from the ball. Foul against the Aztecs. So Leonard gets called for the personal. That's his second personal foul. And the team's fifth. The Bulldogs have shot free throws tonight. Sacre down low, bad pass. White with the steal. And he'll lead the break. Rayhan off glass. Transition bucket, the Aztecs back up by five. Stephen Gray quickly into the front court. His shot is good. A nice job reading where the defense was, spinning away from the pressure by Stephen Gray. Beautiful arc as his big offensive numbers continue to come. 19 already for Gray with almost 13 still to play. Gay, long range three, off iron, but the tip by White, no good. Another tip, no good. Loose ball, White has it. Billy White off the glass. Great effort by White down low. He read where Elias Harris was, was patient, saw that the double team wasn't coming, and spun right off of him. He's got 17. Dower will shoot the three. Rattles it home. The big man. Every game so far in this marathon has been tight. This one figures to be no different. A two-point game with 12 minutes left to go. It's coming down to the end. And thanks in large part to this guy, 
Another one for Billy White off the made bucket. Steve Fisher wants the timeout. So, as the Aztecs talk it over, Steve Fisher and his Aztecs in the huddle. He hadn't had that many teams in his long distinguished coaching career with five returning starters like he has this season. When he has had that set up though, Sean, he's taken advantage of it. Yeah, of course, go back to the 08-09 season. They really felt like they should have been in the NCAA tournament with a school record 26 wins. Instead, they go to the NIT, get to the semifinals, but really that 92-93 team that reached the national championship game back at Michigan. And he really feels like this team has all the components that it needs to make a very long run in March. And it should be noted, this program has never won an NCAA tournament game. The expectation is that this is the year that changes. Noted. There you go. They've never been ranked in the AP poll until right now, this yeah. week. First time ever. So I don't think there's any doubt this is the best team that San Diego State has ever had. And it has a chance to be a very special year for the Aztecs. They're showing you why tonight. Gray off the timeout, scores again. This kind of night, Stephen Gray doing it in every way. San Diego State has the potential to have a special year. Stephen Gray is just a special player. Gay, yeah, nowhere to go with the ball. He needs some help, and he gets it from Billy White. 22 to shoot, so plenty of time for the Aztecs. Leading by two. Very stagnant right now. No ball reversal in their offense. They got to make the defense shift. Not a lot of inside out either. There they go inside. Reverse from White with the foul. Billy White, another impressive move. And he is destroying the Bulldogs down low. He's got 21 numbers associated with that guy. Meanwhile, another guy putting up big numbers tonight. Billy White at the free throw line of the timeout. And he does not get the free throw to go, but a tap play. And Tapley saves it. White shoots the three. He's got it. Billy White silencing the crowd in Spokane. He's got the last nine for the Aztecs. He's four shy of his career high, 24.7 rebounds. And off a missed free throw, the second chance opportunity turned into three. Sacre back in the game, short. White with another board. Man, has he come to play tonight. The senior and not one of the headliners. Well, you're getting to a point in the game now where we're halfway through the second half. Gonzaga has not been in this kind of position in this building. They've only lost four times since this building is open. Bad pass by Rayhan. Arap, not the guy to lead the break. Rayhan, though, compounds the mistake and comes back with the personal foul. But the, the free throw miss turned into a three for SDSU. Well, it starts with aggressiveness. You see the tip out by Tapley and the quick ball reversal. Billy White called for it. He felt it, and he knew it. All of these Aztecs big men are very comfortable shooting from distance. They're all good passers. Sacre. They're all unselfish. Turn around. But Olenek with the follow with two hands. That was close to being in the cylinder, but he gets the bucket. The seven-footer, Kelly Olenek. Carlwell. On the block, spins, pump fake, too short, tipped in though, and White's gonna get credit for it. 26 for Billy White. Sacre with the foul. The shoot two could not quite get the ball to drop. Kelly Olinick trying to give San Diego State a taste of their own medicine. All right, attacking the offensive glass, you see this one. It's barely out of the cylinder, if it even is. I mean, that, that is a close one to call. Of course, we have the benefits of slowing it down and really taking a look at it, but that was awfully close to being offensive goaltender. If it's that close on replay, hard to say, I right. missed the call. Sacre gets the first of two. Well, Olenek is not a guy you necessarily expect that from. He's skilled, but... Not quite the aggressive guy that a lot of these San Diego State postmen are more than Robert Sacre is, but the Bulldogs think this season is going to be a season where he comes into his own. Well, for Kelly, you know, Coach Few told me 
great confidence coming off of the, the summer of playing with the Canadian national team at the World Championships. Really played well and, and said the most important thing for him as a coach this year is to maintain that confidence throughout the course of the season. He's got to try to figure out how to keep Kelly up in order to get the best production out of him. Gay on the perimeter. Malcolm Thomas with four fouls is back in the game. Gets cut off. And passes it out of pressure. Shelton's got three fouls. He's back in. Aztecs will call a play with ten to shoot. Goodson with the pressure D. Gay step back. Got it! DJ Gay with another bucket. He almost did the exact same thing at the exact same time of the game at Long Beach State on Saturday, and it really was a backbreaker for the 49ers in that contest. And big bucket right there with the shot clock winding down. San Diego State up by seven. Now a bad pass. Thomas got a hand on it. Leonard trying to push tempo. Bulldogs get back on defense, though. Now a whistle and an offensive foul. They calling that on Shelton, I believe, with a push off. So that's number four on Shelton. DJ Gay, a prolific scorer in high school. In fact, averaged close to 30 points a game his senior year at Pauley in Sun Valley, California. In fact, dropped 56 on Van Nuys High as a senior. So a lot of people don't remember him as a scorer, but he certainly is comfortable with his shot. Another kid from Southern California playing for this Aztecs team. Olenek, bad pass down low, trying to feed Sacre on the bounce. He bounced it out of bounds. Yeah, if you're working that high low, that pass has got to be up over the top. It is tough for a big man with somebody on his back to receive a bounce pass at that angle. Turnover Bulldogs. They've got 12 in the game. Aztecs lead by seven. They withstood that rush for the Bulldogs at the start of the second half. Gay into the lane. Down low, bad pass. On the floor, loose ball. Gonzaga called a timeout. I think Sacre realized that his guy had full possession of the ball. Not a bad play, though. The Bulldogs will regroup. Well, Kawhi Leonard, we've seen a lot of his game, particularly early tonight. He's the standout, the sophomore star for San Diego State. He's got a lot of skills, Sean, but one of them, sort of a God-given inborn talent. Yeah, it's his size of his hands. They measured him this week for me. He's like Des Bryant. You know, everybody's been talking about the Dallas Cowboys with the 4XL hands. Kawhi is estimated to be a 4XL because he couldn't fit into the 3XL football glove. Whereas that's my hand. I'm 6'6". Six, six. I, I don't have small hands, but Kawhi, he's got mitts. Yeah, you're, you're like the little brother there with Kawhi. On Thanks, top. I appreciate that, Dave. <laughs> you know, you it's, it's, it's funny. The first time I met Kawhi, he was at Riverside King playing the Ware Twins. Modern day was undefeated. He comes out 20 rebounds, five block shots, 17 points. I mean, just a dominating performance, and his high school team ends up winning the Southern Section Championship. But he shook my hand, and my hand disappeared. One of the first real huge nationally profiled high school players to come join Steve Fisher's program in San Diego. When's the last time they could say the California State Player of the Year went to San Diego State? Kawhi Leonard. Lots of NBA scouts are following him around. Lots of them are here tonight watching him play. Sacre to Stephen Gray. Long three. Too strong. Rebound. Bulldogs fighting for it. Sacre has it along the baseline. And he throws it away. Olenek then blocking foul. The fans don't like it, but it is the right call. It's a beautiful night in Spokane. San Diego State, though, on the road. Tough place to play with a seven-point lead. 7.28 to go here. And right before the timeout, a little bit of a controversial call as far as the fans here were concerned. But it looked to us like Mark Reichling got it right. Yeah, Mark Reichling right on top of it. And you've got to give him a step to catch that ball and come down. And Kelly Olenek was not in the right position. Mark Reichling was, and a good call by this officiating crew. Well, I think he's done an outstanding job tonight, letting the guys go, letting them be physical, understanding the strengths of both these teams lie in their front court. That's a veteran crew, and I think not an easy game to officiate. We heard Bob Knight earlier in our marathon talking about that with Virginia Tech, Kansas State, athletic teams, physical teams. You got two big, bruising groups down low tonight. And the officials have done a nice job. Sloppy pass. San Diego State, though, keeps the ball with six to shoot. Gay, floater, too short. Sacre rebound. 
Goodson pushing to the trailer Gray open three too strong for Gray and Tapley comes away with it he's gotten a little ragged he throws it away looking for Leonard who fell down now Gray has it poked away poked away again but a foul call Tapley with a reach in at a couple points in this game it has got very sloppy between two teams that are extremely well coached and, and both coaches have similar styles and understanding the personnel that they have but teach discipline and making sure that you you understand the value of the basketball in the last minute and a half or so this game has Rebound, gotten DJ. really sloppy Rebound. they need to settle it down out on the floor and Gonzaga this is really your home court you're the team that's supposed to be playing with the composure make Stephen Gray get into the free throw line gives everybody the, uh, the ability to exhale well, free throws are going to be a big part of this thing. That's the front end of a one and one for Gray. He's got 22. Aztecs already with 19 fouls. So Gonzaga is going to be shooting two from now on through the end of the game. Gray makes them both. The Bulldogs have been a little sloppy the wall. San Diego State four turnovers their last six possessions. Living on the offensive glass, living with this guy, Billy White, having a huge night. Kawhi Leonard, a little mismatch with Morninghoff. Had it poked away, got it back, missed his shot, and Morninghoff comes away with it. Back to the point guard, Goodson, to Gray. Goes right by the defense, reverse, good! As well as he shot the ball from the perimeter, Stephen Gray is at his best when he's slashing towards the hoop. The lead is back down to three. And it's loud in the McCarthy Athletic Center. Gay shot fake, and he was fouled. Goodson upset with a call, but Gay will shoot two. Stephen Gray, though, on the other end of the floor. And we've seen the full array of his offense tonight. Yeah, 25 points for him now. And you just see the ability to read the defense, hang in the air with the reverse layup. Stephen Gray can do it all offensively. And if he can do this, you know, everybody coming into the season said, what about the loss of Matt Bolden for the Gonzaga Bulldogs? Of course, last year he was the WCC Conference Player of the Year. Who would assume his offensive output? Who would assume his leadership role? It's that guy. Yes, point to yourself, Stephen, because it's you. And so far this season, he has lived up to every question that anybody had for him. He's excelled. Gay missed the first of two. He makes the second. Free throw shooting can be a problem for San Diego State as we move to the 26th hour Haven't of missed our a second. tip off marathon. Sean has watched every single minute of every game, almost. <laughs> and getting to watch a real good one tonight in Spokane. Gray creating again. Shot blocked with a foul. Well, the marathon's been going on for 25 plus. And 19 different games spanning four time zones. A lot of points scored. And the home teams have been quite successful, as you would expect. But very few have the home court advantage traditionally that Gonzaga has. And yet they're having to fight for this one tonight. And I, I think that really speaks to the team that San Diego State has. You know, Doug Gottlieb earlier today back in the studio said that when asked who could be this year's butler, he responded saying San Diego State had that potential. And playing in this environment, performing the way they've had so far tonight, they're living up to the billing and the hype that they've got. They deserve everything. Stephen Gray made both free throws. He's tied his career high. He's got 27. It's a two-point game. The Bulldogs on a run. Leonard to White. Backing in against Harris. White with his career high now. He's got 28. Big time move right there. Catching on the block, having patience, going to his left hand. And if you're Gonzaga, you've got to realize he's left-handed. You can't let him get to the middle of the paint. Some help from Thomas on Gray. And Rahan gets on the ball. And a timeout for San Diego State. Gonzaga thought they had the jump ball. Mark Few is not happy. But Rahan with the quick hands gets a possession for Steve Fisher's club. The hard double team creates that. 
defensively, as we said earlier, you've got to show big, and they showed big, spun Stephen Gray, and as soon as they spun him, Malcolm Thomas able to poke it out from behind. Rayhan dives on it, gets the timeout call. Now the home teams have been great in the tip-off marathon, but nobody's been better over the last several years than Gonzaga. 77 and 4. Their last 81 at home. Great pass, Leonard. White down low. He's got 30. And the Aztecs lead by five. 30 points is an eye popper. That pass from Kawhi Leonard shows his versatility, though, and just how dangerous he is, even if he's not scoring. 14 out of 18 for Billy White. And it was a great pass. Now Gray with his career high. No good. Harris missed the short one. An open look for Elias Harris, and he didn't get it to go. And that feels big. Six-point lead for the Aztecs with the ball. Did you, did you feel the wind get sucked out of this building a little bit on that possession? Everybody kind of sat down. Tough shot. Leonard with a hand in his face. Kawhi Leonard. And that'll get Mark Few up off the bench and bring us a Gonzaga timeout. So San Diego State under some pressure with the place getting loud. They've responded in impressive fashion. Well, and what this game potentially does, San Diego State a year ago played St. Mary's in the marathon and got embarrassed. And they said it took them almost the entire season to get back on the national radar so that people understood the quality of basketball that they were playing. This was a golden opportunity for them to come up and play in one of the most difficult environments in all of college basketball and show well. They've certainly done that so far. We've seen a lot of quality from the Aztecs and Leonard. What a great bounce pass to the man of the night, Billy White, who has just finished about everything down low. I mean, Gonzaga, they're one of the biggest teams in the country, Sean. They got Sacre, they've got size, they've got toughness. He's 14 out of 18 from the field. He has dominated this game. It reminds me of when he was playing AAU basketball with the Las Vegas Prospects and Luke Babbitt. I mean, they, they were Who dominating. Could forget that? Yeah, I mean, come on, you got to spend the summer circuit. Come on, Dave. But you look at the numbers. These have been the two superstars in Spokane tonight. Billy White, as you mentioned, Stephen Gray has tried to do as everything he can offensively, but he's got very limited help offensively from anyone else on their roster, including Elias Harris, who's only got five points. Gonzaga has made 22 field goals tonight. Stephen Gray has made 14 of them. And that, I, I don't think Mark Few would be pleased about that. I mean, as great of a night as Gray has had, he needs some better balance than that. There's no question offensively when this team flourishes, they get multiple people involved. Dimitri Goodson had a nice run in the first half. He hasn't scored in the second half. He's got the ball here. Aztecs on a 7-2 run to push it back up to 75-67. Goodson trying to get the ball down low. There was nothing there. Still trying. Now Gray. 17-footer rattles on. He is in offensively, and you have to credit San Diego State for what they're doing defensively, taking away the interior options for the Bulldogs. Goodson trying to pressure the senior point guard, D.J. Gay. Malcolm Thomas with four fouls. A little shot fake. Spins around, no good. Tip up White again, no good. There's Leonard with those big hands. Can't get it to go, but he follows his own miss. And you see him go up with just one hand, able to control the ball. So dangerous, so active. His second leap often quicker than the first jump of many defensive players. Well, that was one of the most impressive athletic plays we've seen all night long. Whistle and a stoppage. And that's not a good sign, Elias Harris reaching back to his ankle, limping off the floor. And one of the big reasons why they're limping right now is because Kawhi Leonard, so active on the offensive glass, so dynamic, you see the Aztecs, they're hungry. They're hungry for a win here on the marathon. to go in Spokane. Aztecs on the road lead by eight. Gonzaga needs to come from behind and Sean they may have to do it without one of their best players. Yeah Elias Harris came off the floor. That's why there was a stoppage in play. You see him gingerly walking out. He was reaching for the back of his right ankle. Training staff taking him back to take a look. Determine what that injury is. Well, that is not a good sign for the final 245 here. And even going forward, if he's out for any length of time with the schedule that Gonzaga has ahead of him. Brutal schedule. I think the toughest non-conference schedule in college basketball. Long three. Can't get it to go. 
Thomas saves it in bounds off of Goodson. Aztecs ball up by eight. And I think the Aztecs can sense it. This will be one of the largest wins in program history if they can pull this thing off. Turnover, though, a five-second call against White, and that's a mistake. They got timeouts. They could have used one and spared the turnover. There's little things in a game that can determine the outcome, and we saw the rebounding numbers. That's been a huge plus for Gonzaga in their first two games was the war on the boards, and they're losing that battle tonight. No, they're not facing those teams anymore. San Diego State, tough inside. Stephen Gray through the big bodies with contact scores. He's a machine offensively right now. He's got 31, and he's got their last 10. He's trying to will this team to victory by himself, but he's going to need some help from somebody else here in the final two minutes. Aztecs lead by six. Two to go. Leonard backing it out. 15 to shoot for San Diego State. Now the point guard, Gay, calls a play. Thomas with the high screen. Six to shoot. Gay, wraparound pass, tipped up in the air, ball loose, and a foul. They're going to call a foul against Leonard, and that's going to, I think, bring Stephen Gray to the free throw line on the other end for the double bonus. He's going to shoot two. Those are the fouls you have to avoid at the defense and when the offensive glass. Yes, you want to be aggressive, but right now the last thing you want to do is give opportunities for Gonzaga to find easy points because nothing has come easy in the second half for them offensively. Stephen Gray with a huge night for Gonzaga. We've had two 30-plus point scorers in this game. Gray perfect on the first free throw, and it's a five-point game. We've got Kawhi Leonard, the star sophomore for San Diego State, with his 19th career double-double. So some of the big players have stepped up tonight. A very entertaining game in Spokane. Second one. Good. Free throws tonight have favored Gonzaga. Pressure, and Leonard gets fouled. Split right through a double-team trap there, and then drew the contact. And that should be one-on-one -on -one free throws for Leonard at the other end. The idea to put, apply pressure and trap is excellent. But the problem was, and it's been this way all night long, really, is when they've brought their double, it hasn't been quick enough. It hasn't been hard enough to really close off that gap and lock up and form that positive L to force Kawhi Leonard to make a pass. Big free throws here, and it's a one and one. The first one, no good. Olenek with the rebound, and he's fouled. White can't believe it. But again, that's a mistake to even give the officials a chance to make the call. That's his fourth. It's the exact same thing we just mentioned on the last possession. Why are you fouling 94 feet away when they have secured the rebound? Get back, play half-court defense, and force Gonzaga to hit a shot. Don't send him to the free throw line. So just a moment ago, it was an eight-point lead. And Olenek comes up short, the first of two. It is double bonus time for the Bulldogs. But every point is precious on both ends. We saw Leonard miss the front end of a one and one shot. Last year, San Diego State, one of the worst free throw shooting teams in all of college basketball. Good on the second one. So he gets one out of two. And we'll get our first look at Michael Hart coming in for a defensive possession here. Well, Kelly's got four fouls. They can't afford to lose him with Elias Harris out. That's why they bring in Mike Hart. Against pressure. Gay bringing it up the court, and he gets it across the midcourt strike and picks up his dribble. Bad place to pick up your dribble with great on-ball pressure. Leonard back to Thomas. Set it up with Gay. 17 to shoot. The intensity defensively has really elevated for Gonzaga. Gay looking for somewhere to go. Steps back into the jumper way short. There's Leonard again, but he can't get it to go. Tip up, no good. Rebound, Rayhan. Aztecs will reset. Big offensive rebounds that time for San Diego State. White through traffic. Finds Rayhan and a smart move. Works some clock. With the ball up by three. 
and still 15 seconds on the shot clock. Under a minute to play. Leonard with the dribble, dumps it down. Thomas scores! Offensive foul, wipe away the basket. And the kid who almost never plays, who just came in for defense, Michael Hart draws the charge. The dump down and Mike Hart sets himself, gets the call. He took it right on the chin, stood on the train tracks, let the train run over him. Great coaching and substitution by Coach Few. And Malcolm Thomas fouls out of this contest with 38 seconds left to go. Without a point and five fouls, Thomas, one of their senior leaders out of the game. Timeout here now after the Bulldogs set up on offense. Gonzaga at home with their great home record on the line here. San Diego State looking for perhaps you might say a program changing win on the road against the Bulldogs with the three point lead 38.8 to go. It would change the national perception of their program without question. But with 38 seconds left, if you're Steve Fisher and his coaching staff, right now the one thing that you've got to be thinking about and you've got to be telling your guys is, is there any doubt who will be shooting this final shot? The answer is no, it's Stephen Gray. They're gonna get him the ball. They're gonna look to set an on-ball screen, get him going towards the hoop, maybe draw a foul, and try to elongate this game by sending the Aztecs to the free throw line. Well, Gray's had a career night. A Couple of Aztecs have played well, but Stephen Gray has had to carry this Gonzaga offense. Uh, he has done more than carry it. He's been the truck, he's been the trailer, he's been the load all night long. And his versatility to do so much to create has led him to his 33 points. At the opposite end, though, Billy White has been spectacular. Whether it's hiding out in the short corner, being patient, reading the defense, offensive rebounds, stick backs. This is why San Diego State is so dangerous is because they can come into an environment like this and put on this type of performance. But it's a one-possession game, and I like Stephen Gray in this moment. Well, we saw that highlight package there, Sean the degree of difficulty on a lot of his shots tonight. So you figure San Diego State may pay special attention to him here, but Gray, even with defenders draped all over him, has been able to put the ball in the basket. I bring a hard double team right away on the catch and make somebody else beat me. Do not allow Stephen Gray to beat you in this shot. And remember, this is a year ago where Matt Bolden would shine. Nobody else in the last 10 minutes has had a basket from the field for Gonzaga than the guy who's got the ball right here. Leonard's on it. Sacre sets the screen. Gray with the ball down the lane, and he scores. It's a one-point game. Timeout, Mark View. They did exactly what I said they would do, and that's allow Robert Sacre to come up, set the screen. Stephen Gray looks and finds the lane, and as soon as he does, and what he did was he ran right off the cut by Sacre. Robert Sacre set the screen, dumps down in the middle, and Stephen Gray's able to get to the hoop. And that's where you got an experienced player, right, Sean? You yes. let him make a choice. You let him read the defense, and he made the read perfectly. He's got 14 of the last 15 points for the Bulldogs. Now, Gonzaga has been playing with this pressure in the second half, extending to a full court. I think you continue to extend out to the full court. You try to trap the first pass, and if you don't get it, you got to look to find who you want to foul. And with the lineup that is out on the floor right now, the guys that you want to foul are not Billy White, and it's not DJ Gay. You don't want to foul Rayhan. Kawhi Leonard is probably your best bet to foul, although he hasn't missed this year from the strike. So 23.6. Bulldogs can go for a steal, and then if they don't get it foul, and they will foul Leonard right away. So that's a nice job, Sean. You identified it, the guy that Mark Few, I'm sure, told his team, here's who we'd like to put on the stripe. And Kawhi Leonard has to go to the other end. It's only the ninth foul against the Bulldogs. So it's still a one-and-one -one situation and a lot of pressure on this free throw coming up. He's two for three tonight from the free throw line. And this is where your stars have to step up. We just saw Stephen Ray step up. Is Kawhi Leonard going to step up and make this a three-point game, or is he going to give... Gonzaga an opportunity to steal this victory. Front end. Good. Kawhi Leonard. 
Makes it a two-point game. What a marathon it's been. This is the eighth game in 26 hours of basketball. A one-point game in the final minute. And I think one of the highlight games. Leonard makes both under pressure. And all that work that the Aztecs have put in to improve their free throw shooting, maybe some of it pays off right there. That was huge. And they're going to extend out their pressure just a little bit. This is just a gimmick pressure to try to force Stephen Gray to go side to side and burn some time off the clock. Now we'll see if Gonzaga goes for the three here. If they feel like they have to, Gray inside the arc, kicks it back. Olenek leaves it for Gray, poked away. He's going to save it in bounds, and it goes to Tapley. He'll get fouled. The Aztecs with 4.9 seconds on the clock may well be able to ice this game at the free throw line. And Mark Few can't believe it. Defensive pressure leads to turnovers. And Kelly Olenek try to toss it back. And a great job by Billy White, who's been the star all night long, offensively, defensively, getting his hand and poking that one away off the knee of Stephen Gray. Tapley's free throw, front end, no good. They don't ice it. Two seconds, Gray from near midcourt, too short. And the buzzer goes off. The Aztecs will celebrate with one of the biggest wins they've ever had on the road. They beat Gonzaga 79 to 76. Only the fifth loss on this court for Gonzaga. And the rest of the country, you're watching the San Diego State Aztecs are for real. They are a top 25, top 15 caliber team. And they proved it tonight by beating an excellent Gonzaga Bulldogs team on their home floor. And it took a gutty effort. It took two huge free throws from the sophomore star, Kawhi Leonard. Mark Few knows he knew coming in that this was a very talented, he described it to us, an Elite Eight kind of Aztecs team. And I think they showed that, Sean. One of their best players, Malcolm Thomas, had nothing, not a point. He fouled out, and they went on the road. Composure is what impressed me most about San Diego State tonight. They played with great composure. They handled the environment. They handled the pressure. They handled the magnitude of this victory. These guys are celebrating not because they won their second game of the season, but because they realized the quality of opponent they just beat and the significance it means in the big picture come March when it's Selection Sunday and you're looking at seeding. Well, you figure Gonzaga's gonna be there. They're a good team, but I think we now know the Aztecs are gonna be there too. What a team they have as well, and what a game we had in Spokane. And San Diego State, they might describe it the biggest win they've ever had in men's basketball. The Aztecs on the road here in the kennel with the victory. It was White, it was Leonard, it was everybody chipping in. The final score, Aztecs 79, Bulldogs 76. This has been a presentation.